Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. I hope each and everybody out there doing great and having good health. In this video, I am going to explain another type of creative questions from chapter motion. So it's written that an athlete completes one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 seconds. So you see that what is the data is given that it's a circular diameter, it's a circular track and the diameter of this track is 200 meter and that is travel in 40 seconds. Now you think that he finishes his run at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds. So you know that 1 minute 60 seconds. So 2 minutes 20 seconds is all about 140 seconds. So this data is a given. So the question is that you know that in creative questions there are four set of questions. Number one, define average speed. So you know that average speed which is found by dividing the distance traveled with the time required to travel that distance. So this is very simple. So I, I'm not writing the questions answer of A and B. You know that in this series of videos I only solve number C and number D questions. So you know also that A is equal to 5 meter per second square. It, it means that we know that A is actually the change of velocity over time. So it means that 5 meter per second square means per second, per second, 5 meter per second. This amount of velocity is changing. Now you think about the third questions that calculate his speed. How to calculate the speed? You know this is a diameter, is a circular track and this circular track has diameter 200 meter. So if it is the center, you think that if it is the center that suppose this is O, this is a, A and this is B. Think about it. <clears throat> now you think it's a circular diameter so the 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 athlete starts from this round and then he travels this round so it takes 40 seconds so what is the the displacement actually and what is the distance he covered is actually the is equal to the the circumference of the circle so you know that circumference is 2 pi r so you know this is 2 r and pi we know this 2r is actually the diameter so we know that this is pi d meter is the distance traveled uh, or is, is traveled by the athlete so you know this d is 200 meter and this pi is 3.1416 so if you see the calculation times 3.1416 which is simply uh, 628.32 meter so this is the circumference and the question is what is his speed so if we need to find the speed we need to know what is the distance what is the distance over time so the distance we got 628.32 three two meter and that has been uh, completed by 40 seconds so now we got meter per second so this amount of time divided by 40 seconds is uh, 15.708 meter per second this is the speed so if you want to know the cal the, the speed of the athlete is 15. 708 meter per second so as uh, according to the steam that athlete is traveling this circular track i mean one complete circular track by 40 seconds so we can find the calculations of speed by this way so now think about this last question last question says that the displacement never exceeds the diameter of the circular track put your logical through mathematical analysis so why what is the process and how we can actually prove it think about this 
So if we can divide into 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 four segments of this circular track, suppose this is a uh, C and this is D. Now you think uh, that the 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 athlete is started from A and he is traveling to C to B to D and A. What is the maximum uh, distance or is the maximum displacement? If you think about some A to C, A to C, then this should be the distance. If you think about A to B, if you think about A to B, this is the distance, I mean displacement. If you think about A to D, then this should be the distance. So now you think the according to the questions, the displacement never exceeds the diameter. We know that diameter is 200 meter. So as this athlete is um, taking this round of the circular track uh, we need to uh, we need to prove that he should never uh, uh, con uh, complete the, the the distance which is more than 200 meter now think about a to c you see if i find a to c it's a right angle right angle triangle so if it is o then according to pythagoras uh, we can say that ac square is actually a o square plus OC square. So as this is the diameter of 200, so we know that OA uh, is equal, it should be 100 meter. Similarly, OC is 100 meter and OD is 100 meter. So according to this, we need to find out the distance of AC that should be root over 100 square plus 100 square. So we see this, this should be like uh, Together, if you do the calculations, it would be nearly 141.42 meter. So, if we see that the distance from A to C is 141 meter, if we see the distance AB, which is which is equal to the diameter, which is 200 meter, and this is maximum. And think about AD. In this case, AD square would be the similar. O A square plus O D square. So if you got it, that A D would be similar 100 square plus 100 square. So we will find the same measure like before. So what we see that if the athlete start from A and then to C to B and to D, the maximum distance or the displacement covered that is equal to the diameter of the circular track. So the distance or the displacement of this athlete will never exceed 200 meters. So the maximum distance covered by uh, that AC or AD. So we can say this 200 meter is the maximum distance covered by the athlete which is not exceeds the diameter of the circular track so this is the the solution process i'm just making it very short because when you will study and when you um, do the same process in your exam paper i think it would be much more perfect i'm just giving you the thoughts and you know that entire pro in their whole playlist of these i'm just explaining you a single creative questions that would be helpful to understand to think the different type of questions so i'm coming up with the next video another creative questions from chapter motion and do let me know that this is really is it really actually helpful for you and do you really understand the process of doing it and the main idea and the main purpose of these videos is to clarify your thought and to figure it out what is the stem about so take care stay well see you in the next video bye bye